Okay, well, as some of you may have known, GeoWizard made a little video with one of my quizzes, this quiz actually, and uh, the site got a little attacked, but we're working hard at trying to get it back. I upgraded a few things, I'm tweaking some things, it's still slow, but uh, careful what you wish for, I guess. Anyways, I thought I'd give this quiz a try, see if I could beat Tom's score on it. Uh, I think he got about 8,800 or just 87 something, like 87.50 or just above that. So I'm going to give it a go. And much like Tom, I'm not too great at remembering things. I'm certainly no photographic memory. Uh, so I see these cities all the time when I'm making these quizzes, but I instantly forget them because I don't really take the quizzes a lot. But we're going to see if we can't beat Tom's score here. We'll start on beginner, just like he did, and uh, do what he did. We'll just we'll start with London, just like Tom did, just for Geo Wizard, and uh, there we go. And then he said Plymouth next, I think, too. So I don't think what he did notice is that Plymouth gets you the towns in Jersey here and Guernsey. I think it's pronounced Guernsey. I'm not a Brit, but uh, Jersey and Guernsey have a few cities, towns over 10k. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that because you do need to get those to get the UK. Uh, another city you need to get to get the UK is Gibraltar. So we'll just get that out of the way. Um, let's go back up here to the UK. You can get like Liverpool. That covers most of it. And over here at Birmingham we'll probably get that. Yep, and Glasgow, and Inverness, and oh, we need Northern Ireland, so we'll just do Belfast. And I still don't have the entire UK, do I? Brest, did I miss something over here? I don't think I did. What am I missing in the UK? Um, hmm, interesting. I thought I had it. Well, let's just get uh, Ireland done here. Galway, Cork, that'll do it. And I don't think Tom noticed, but up here, country's completed. It shows you what you've got done. Uh, boy, I don't know what I'm missing in the UK. Uh, he did Wren. I'll do Wren. Obviously Paris. I think we can knock out... Brussels, or Belgium, just with Brussels. That also took out Luxembourg, of course. And he was pretty excited to get Utrecht. Takes out the Netherlands. Uh, I think I got the UK, but... Oh, maybe I didn't. Let's do Edinburgh. Oh, we, we had missed something, like right there, I think it was. Or I, I just got something that I hadn't gotten to get the UK. So that's done. All right, let's move uh, eastward here into Deutschland. Verstädte brauchen wir in Deutschland. My German is a little rusty. Uh, let's start in the north. Kiel, of course. Uh, uh, oops, Ham. I think there's a couple cities just named Ham that I just got. Hamburg. Uh, we can get Groningen up there, but I don't think I needed to because there was nothing in that little gap. Uh, something down here, Stuttgart, Köln, uh, Dresden, it's over there, Munich, we'll get the south, all of Bavaria basically. And what are we missing right in here? Nuremberg? Yeah. And Germ oh, what am I missing in Germany? Oh, up here. Uh, did I do Berlin? I did. Now I did it. Well, I can close this out with Copenhagen. Kerbenhaven. There we go. Then I think, oh, there's a city named AA somewhere in, in the Netherlands. Uh, Aarhus. And that will take, oh, so Tom did not get uh, Denmark because he couldn't remember 
the capital of the Faroe Islands, which is Torshavn. If you play GeoGuessr, you'll learn the Faroe Islands pretty quickly. There's a decent amount of coverage on their quizzes. Uh, let's go to Poland. Polska. Ja mówię trochę po polsku. That's for the Polish fans. The, Pol the Polish people on the web website here. Uh, we can start with Poznan. Gdańsk. Gdańsk. Warsawa. Katowice. I speak a little Polish. I can pronounce the words pretty well. Wrocław, that's not going to help much. Uh, what is up here? Stretching? Stretching, yeah. Stretching. Uh, Kaliningrad, that will get this whole section. I'm still missing, I think it's called Chesnov. Oh, oh, I forgot how to s write that city down here. It's right around here. I think it's that one. Yep, the one that's 339,000. Uh, Kosic, Kosice, Kosis, Kosice, not sure on the pronunciation there. Uh, we can get the Baltics here. Tallinn, in Estonia. I've been to Tallinn, it's a cute little city. Maragi and Vaike Estekelt, for any Estonian listeners. Uh, Riga and Vilnius. So I got Lithuania, I did not get Latvia, Kaunas, that's in Lithuania, that's not going to help. St. Petersburg, that's not really going to help the Baltics at all. Oh, what's over here in Latvia? Uh, there's a city called like Dal Dalgaville, Dalva, ah, I forget it. I don't think that's going to help, though. I don't think it's over there. Oh, there's Tartu. There we go. I got Estonia. I'm still missing something in Latvia here. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. All right, back down here. Let's just take care of Switzerland in one fell swoop like that with Bern. Lyon, je parle français, mais oui. Pas parfait, mais je sais, je sais parler français. J'ai oublié beaucoup. Uh, let's go. En sous, Marseille. There's no S in Marseille, Tom. Uh, let's take care of Andorra. That's pretty easy. Toulouse. Oh, there's a city called Toul. And that answered. Toul. Let's get Toulouse. Uh, what else is over here? Bor. There's a city called Bor. Looks like it's over in Serbia. Bordeaux. And what is here? What is here? Got a little gap here in France. Oh, I should know. My French city's better than that. But let's get Lisboa, Lisbon, Porto, Porto. And then some people are forgetting the Azores, Azores, Azores. I don't remember the way to pronounce that. Out here, there's a city called Ponta Delgada. And you need to get those to get Portugal. Still haven't gotten Portugal. There's a little bit down here. There we go. Now we got Portugal right there. Um, I did not include like Madeira from child because this is kind of geographically Europe, not politically. Because politically, there are European countries all over the world, from the Caribbean to French Polynesia. Uh, so these islands are considered part of Africa geographically, whereas the Azor, Azores uh, are considered part of Europe, even though they're way out here. Uh, Reykjavik, I'm going to be just like Tom here and only know Reykjavik in Iceland. I do know there's a city called like A.K. Akiri or something. Oh, I forgot it in northern Iceland. And then a couple over here with, it's, it's ironic, you know, I can't pronounce these Icelandic names, but I can pronounce the volcano that erupted, Eyjafjallajökull. <laughs> I think it's Eyjafjallajökull. <laughs> it's the big volcano that erupted with like 25 letters in its name right around here. Uh, but I can't remember the, the town names of like 10 letters. 
up to Scandinavia. We'll take Oslo out, Stockholm. Not take it out in that sense, take it out on this map. You know, a lot of people were commenting. It's like uh, somehow I'm, I'm striking various cities here. Nuclear strikes is what the map looks like. Far from it. Berg is a city in Germany, I believe. So Bergen. There's Trondheim. Uh, Svarja. Ja, Fratalita Svenska for the Swedish viewers. Umea. And then Olu, Olu, I believe it's how it's said. The Finnish call their country Sol, Solme, Solme, I believe. So I don't speak much or really any Finnish. Um, Helsinki, I did not guess, because I guess Tallinn. Tampere, Tampere, uh, Turku. Oh, what else is there? There's some other ones here I forgot. Uh, there's Ling Shipping. Yong Shurping, I think I'm saying those right. Ling Shurping, Yong Shurping, Christianstad. That's uh, that didn't really help. What's up here? There's Uppsala, Uppsala. That's not gonna help much. Oh, way up here is Tromsø, Tromsø, Tromsø. Uh, what else is up here? Oh, down here I could get Lillehammer. Well, Lil is gonna answer. I don't want a little Hummer. Olympic Coast City. I forgot what year. Like 90, 1990 or something. Okay. Dang, I'm over halfway done. Let's see if I can get to Tom's score. Vienna, Budapest, uh, and Beslik, Ed Kitchet, Majorov, Majul, for the Hungarian listeners. Um, if you can't tell, I like languages. <laughs> Bratislava, Ljubljana, hope I'm saying that right, Ljubljana. Uh, let's see how much of Italy we can do get done. Milano, Venice, Firenze, Florence, Roma, Naples, Napoli, Cagliari. Tom, you neglected Corsica and Sardinia, and I do not remember the names of any cities on Corsica, so I'm sorry about that. S -s Palermo, oops, there's a city called Pale over by Bosnia, I think. Palermo, Syracuse, and I, oh, I forgot the couple cities down here. I know there's one like right there. Yeah, it's right there. What is, what is your name? Uh, oh well, not gonna get all of Italy. Croatia I can get. Split. Um, Zagreb. Oh, we got Hungary, but yeah, we did get Croatia. That's good. Uh, Belgrade. Serbia's done. Skopje. Podgorica. That didn't really help. Tirana. Athens, oh, Ath, that's a city somewhere, Ath, Thessaloniki, let's get to Bulgaria, Sofia, and of course Vargas, which Tom typed, which I think is going to be the city when Varna and Burgas merge, it's got to be inevitable now, right, after Tom called the city Vargas, Bucharest, oh, there's a city called Buk or Buka up in Ukraine, right by Kiev, I guess. Bucharest, Cluj, I believe it's pronounced. Cluj, Napolca, Napoca. I know Tom called this Chis now, but I don't think that's how it's pronounced. I did look it up once. Apologies to the Moldovans watching. It's I forgot how to pronounce it. We must take care of Lviv, Ukraine. Donetsk, Kharkiv, Dessa, uh, what else is in here? Oh, I forget, come on. Kiev is not gonna, we'll use the Ukrainian spelling. Uh, and Russia, I'll do a little more Russia than Tom did. Uh, Moscow, oh, there's a city called Mos, Mos somewhere. Moscow, Moskva, 
Jakaj kavariju pa ruski animajo nimnoga Let's see what we have here. Nizhny Novgorod We have Omsk. No, that's that's in the Asian part. Uh, I do cover Russia up to the the Ural Mountains here, so west of those. Katarinburg, Chelyabinsk. Oh, what all? There's Murmansk. That's going to be a big circle. These act actually aren't circles. They're very close to circles, but once you get up here. They kind of become a little more egg-shaped. That's because of the, the map projection. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, Spain. I'm sorry. I forgot Spain. No recuerdo España or Barcelona. Madrid. Ah, oh, Seville I did already. San Sebastian. What was that one Tom answered? Where? Where? Huerca. I, don't, oh, I forgot that one. He did answer Palma. It's two Palmas. Valence, oops, Valencia. Yeah, a lot of cities on here will fill in while you're typing another city because the first few letters of the city you're typing are actually the name of another city. So it's happened a number of times with me so far. A Coruña. Oh, what is over here? Oh, I'm sorry, Spain. Oh, Mar Marisa. Mar oh, what's the name of that city? Oh, come on, Darren. You know these cities. Oh, what is that one he put right there to get that spot? Tom knew it. I don't. But look at that. I think I've passed Tom by a few hundred. I don't. Oh. And he did not answer Istanbul, but it is included as are the Turkish cities uh, in Europe, starting with including Istanbul. And I think I included this one here because it's in a region of Turkey that's partly in Europe. So I included these regions. I think there's like six of them or four or five of Turkey that have part of them in Europe. So that's kind of the mythology that methodology, excuse me, I used. Because Tom was out here answering Batman, of course. you got to guess Batman. And then he guessed Ankara, which is over here. But those are Asian. Asian area of Turkey. So we, we did pretty good here. I, I know I missed a few that I know the, the names of, but, you know, I just I can't remember all these. I'm like Tom. You know, I just I don't have a great memory. And you know, I see these cities all the time, especially like the one down here, which I can't recall. But we've just managed to pass him with a few minutes left, so that will be that. Oh, what's this little spot in France? Well, it won't matter because I don't remember the city in Corsica. But I think that we did pretty well for an American. Uh, maybe could break 9,000 if I tried this again. But uh, there we go. You've seen me and GeoWizard himself play this quiz. Uh, hope the site is back uh, working quickly again as it usually was. But uh, we have a little rush of GeoWizard fans attacking it these past day or two. So thank you again. And uh, that is all.